body. It's about him. And I did all of that for him? Yep. Yep. Okay. Then you I got no family longer... members still acting crazy. Then I no longer... You know, you don't hear his sons no more. Where's his sons at? I know. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on They usually sons? are mouthpieces for him. Did the FBI get to his sons? I don't know. They've been quiet. They've been, been quiet. quiet. We ain't seen them. Things oh, that make Ivanka you... been quiet. Things but that those, make you those, those, those two... Doorknob, dumb yeah. doorknobs. <laughs> they ain't saying dumb nothing. Dumber. Uh huh. Wow. Nobody's heard from Trump's uh, because they would even make comments about what the they would have been going saying. off. How how dare y'all do this? Y'all wasted tax money. Money y'all shouldn't be spending time trying to get my dad. He didn't nothing. do anything wrong. You know why? Why? Because it's the FBI. You nobody plays with the FBI. Wow. They t I'm telling you, they'll get to you. They have people in... Well, let's go with this. Chris Christie. Go ahead. Okay, so that's pretty much it. It's just his being hypocritical mm -hmm. and also um, the stance that he's taking on some of those issues. Uh -huh. He ain't no different. He's He still um, has his same yeah. mindset. Yeah. He, I used to think he was just getting in and out to win, but he is trying to win. You think? <clears throat> yeah, because he treads the line when it comes to really going after Trump. He does it to, in a way where... If if he if he can't win, then I'll be the next person. I don't want to piss his people off. You don't much. really believe that he. I think he really don't want to win. He just wants to get in there uh, and, and cause trouble. I think that's the, the that's the um oldest trick in the book. Okay. I don't want to win. Don't vote for me. Then everybody votes for the person that don't care and don't want to win. Uh, that's the oldest trick in the book. Well, we'll see. But I don't trust Chris Christie. Remember how horrible of a governor he oh, was. Oh yeah, they keep reminding him of that. And about that. I, we're gonna always remind, and we're gonna remind you that you Trump's friend, and we're gonna remind you helped him get ready for um, all of the things that he was doing the last mm -hmm. thing, election. Mm -hmm. Their tax on Hillary, their tax on everybody. Mm -hmm. So he's just as bad. Right. He's just as bad. Yeah, he can't be trusted. No, but Chris Christie is. Um, I'm surprised they spent today. Oh, they was this morning. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow they'll talk about the um, Trump going the in. Yeah, because it was during their show time. That's why. Well, no, he did at 3 o'clock today. Oh, yeah. See, they didn't get the news until... Well, one person who has an issue with um, Trump um, is Carrie Lake. So she actually has an issue? I thought yeah. she was for him. No, no. An issue about Trump, I should oh, say. Oh, okay. There you go. So she actually spoke at an event... Carrie Lake, mm -hmm. who was running for governor. She lost last time. Yeah, lost. And they asked her, if you do not win, are you going to accept? And of course she and said she yes. Is, no, no, she didn't. Oh, okay. At least she, she said, being she honest kept now. Saying, no, no, she said, I'm not going to lose. Thank you. She so, never answered. In it. other words, no, I'm not yeah, going to accept There it. we go. Um, she was horrible. She did. Most people that get up and talk about Trump or whatever, mm -hmm. They'll get up and say, you know, he's innocent and, you know, we're going to stand behind him and, you know, all of this other stuff. Mm -hmm. No, not Carrie Lake. She has to always take things to the 150th mm -hmm. level. She another Margaret So listen to, um, listen to this on The Breakfast okay. Club today. Is afraid to do anything. They're afraid to talk. Uh, they have to go out and protest peacefully. But Terry Lake, uh, the former Arizona Republican nominee for governor, has a different message. Let's take a listen. I have a message tonight from Merrick Garland and Jack Smith and Joe Biden. And the guys back there in the fake news media, you should listen up as well. This one's for you. If you want to get to President Trump, you're going to have to go through me, and you're going to have to go through 75 million Americans just like me. And I'm going to tell you, yep, most of us are card-carrying members of the NRA. Jesus. That's not a threat. That's a public service announcement. That's a threat. You made. Why that. would you say? You said that yesterday. Why would you say she's that confirming you it. are um, seventy-five million, which you're not. Uh huh. But you're gun carrying, carrying people of supporters. They got to go through you guys. What does a gun have to do with anything? No, they got. They're declaring war. They're declaring war. That's what that sounds like. She declared war. So she declared now we got to get our military ready for this. So basically, but I think she's by herself. Basically, she said, if you do anything, if you think to you're going him. to harm Donald Trump, put him in prison, or put whatever. him in prison, lock him up mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. We will come down there with our guns mm -hmm. 
and we will make sure that he will come out. That was the meaning behind what she just said. And that's also white privilege. Yes, it is. A black person would never say that. They couldn't. Because they know they would shoot us down right when we get, right while we walking down the street. If a black person said that, even in that little They movie, would be, they would get that, that actual day. She wouldn't be walking around right now. You gonna do what? You Thank you. You gonna do what? So either she's dumb as a, a, a pair of whatever uh -huh. and not understand that <laughs> a box of rocks, a box of rocks mm -hmm. not realize that you just put a threat against the United States of mm -hmm. America. And FBI didn't hear that. And you don't think that they not on you now? Thank you. They gonna watch you, Miss Thang. You a fool. And you're a, a, a gun toting with an NRA member. She said 75 million, 75 which is five million. Even 75 million ain't gonna go to the, 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 the grave for Donald Trump. But to put that out there but to put that out there what's wrong with you miss thing and Carrie what did he, did he say something about that well that's what we're gonna talk about okay so you, my Between mother her said, and Mary, uh, Ma Ma Mar Marjorie Taylor Green. I think she worse than Marjorie Taylor Between Green. Marjorie, the, Marjorie and her make um uh, Palin look. Oh, like, that that the uh, Sarah Palin. Sarah, look like they a make girl. Sarah Palin. Look they like make a, Trump look like a schoolboy. Yes. They crazy. He hasn't even said that. They crazy. He hasn't even said they're gonna uh, that we're gun toting. He hasn't even but said that. But you know what? Again. Just like Tim Scott, Pence, and all of those Republicans who are Lindsay, who come out and say support, they are fearful yeah. of the the percent that Trump has. Um, in, um, um, he has over his people. Over his people. Yeah. Because they know threats can come their way. Well, that's what they're afraid of. They may shoot me down in my house. Yes. I got to say something okay or positive. You don't want to be negative towards him. Stupid. You saw all the people that was out there today for him. Well, that's in Florida. Yeah. But you saw all the people that's out there. And I'm surprised Cuban Americans are for him. <sighs> that's what Sonny kept saying. She's surprised Latinos, period. Are you know what it is? I know what him. it is. I used to work for a company. Um, it was a Mexican company. American? Well, no, it's a Mexican company. And there were people who came that were Mexican right. to work over here. They had visas. And they didn't want to live here. They liked where they lived they in liked, Mexico. They lived nice. they lived good. They lived good in Mexico. Mm -hmm. They didn't like Cinco de Mayo. They said, that's not, we don't celebrate that. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's, and they didn't like American Mexicans. They don't like American Mexicans. They think that they're bad. It's almost like how black people say ghetto people. Mm -hmm. The real black people who live in the suburbs mm -hmm. and stuff, mm -hmm. they don't like ghetto black people. Right, right. Some of them don't. Right. And they say, oh, y'all make us look bad. They hate right, my right. Quisha and Shaquana and right. all of that. Uh -huh. We are, we're in the suburb. And y'all make us look bad out there in, in the ghetto. Y'all so project. Uh -huh. That's the same with them. Can I add something to what you said? Yeah. They also have proud spirits. Their ego is up. Yeah. Admit they made a mistake. You talking about the mega people? These mega people. Yeah. Well, what's they're her proud. name is one they're of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My mom proud. said they very proud. They're very proud. Yeah. So if you're you're so proud where you don't even see yes. the wrong. Yes. You don't see the negative or whatever in that person. Yes. So my thing is, is that when she did that, she declared war on America, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Why she's not locked up is white privilege. That's mm -hmm. my opinion. Yeah. And because um, they figure it's free free freedom of speech she didn't do well it depends on who's doing to the carry speech. out the threat it depends on who's speaking okay it's not freedom of speech for everybody okay so but for her it is white lady mm -hmm. you know help 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 karen scream <laughs> sit your city bike karen <laughs> so for her it's, it's she can say whatever she wants okay, okay. lay that white woman alone that white woman ain't hurt nobody. She telling the truth. We ain't, we got guns and we We're ain't afraid to use them. Uh -huh. Well, you know, they got uh, Bubba, the FB, you know, they infiltrated y'all little thing. And uh -huh. uh, the first person that's going to go is Bubba. If y'all go down there and act crazy. Well, I'm going to tell you so. Just because we told him don't mean we're going to use him. <laughs> Trump can take care of himself. Thank He's you. a fighter. We just want to be ready. Just in we case. don't want to be ready in case they try to come take our AR-15s from us. That's why her stupid self lost. She ain't gonna they win. didn't want her in office. Who wants her to win? 
And they was um, speculating that she was going to possibly be his running mate, his um, uh, vice president. Well, this guy, Gallego, calls Carrie Lake's remarks on Trump indictment dangerous. Dangerous. Arizona Democratic Rep. Ruben Gallego called out former state um, governor candidate Carrie Lake for her recent remarks on former President Trump's indictment. Um, he basically said what we just said. Okay. It's reckless what she just yes. did. He said, as a Marine who went all the way to Iraq to defend this country, our democracy and our freedoms. I know this language isn't just hyperbell. It's dangerous and it threatens the very core of our democracy. Gallego says, who announced earlier this year that he would be running for senator um, of Arizona, said in a statement, for that, Carrie owes every American loving Arizonian an apology. Wow. She ain't gonna do it. He's a Marine, ex-Marine. I know. Anybody in the military listening to her say that would be what? What the heck you talking about? What did you about? just say? 75 and million the, people and you all are NRA carriers? And the fact that Members? you said they have to come through me. They have to come through us. Us. If you want him, you gotta come through so us. So you're declaring war and you gotta come through us it's 75 million of us and we all got guns we all packing that's exactly what she said gosh okay so he's not happy about that i don't nobody should be nobody should be condoning what she says because and then too that's another god i, I don't know why people are so weak like my mom just said it's really pride mm -hmm. pride is blinding them pride is blinding them from the truth and they're fearful they're fearful of that num percentage. And then the thing that scares me even the most, when you think about dictators throughout this world, mm -hmm. how do dictators start out? Like him. This little bit of episode it's, we're doing. That's in our why country, they got to shut it down. That's how dictators start. Because I always sat there and went, how do these people follow those mean men and women yep. in office? Edi Amin and Hitler. They don't have no choice. They had a soldier of people following their mean rhetoric. You know how you get it? If you get the military. In every country, that's who you need. Oh my if you can get God. the military on your side, then that's it. You, you can take overthrow. it over the country. You can overthrow that's the true. That's true. Um, let me see. All right, before we move on, Wendy says, um, Babyface puts on a fantastic show and he has written for everybody. Yeah, we said that, but I don't want to hear him. If he's having a concert with well, well with the people he's written we're for, then I'll go. Of people buying the tickets right. for the concert, but would rather hear Anita. I'd rather hear Anita Baker. If he doesn't show well, why up, do I want to hear him. I'll be okay. Yeah, I don't want to hear him. <laughs> I, like I want to hear, but I want to hear the people who he's written for more than well, him. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Wendy says, "Don't like Fred Flintstone's politics, but he's got balls and he speaks the truth." Yeah, and um, and I like that, and um. Um, Layla says, how are you, how are the tell it like it is women this evening? What's up, Layla? All right. Yes. We're going to try to tell it like it is, I guess. Tell it like it is. One more thing about Trump and then we'll move on. Okay, go ahead. We go. have to talk about the fact that he did get indicted today. I mean, my goodness. Well, I didn't see that. 37 no pounds. You suit. won't see that. He walked in and, and uh, the peep, the crowd was out there. Most of the crowd didn't even get a chance to see him because he showed up in another location. So he he goes in. I guess they they said they did a um, cyber um, fingerprint. They don't do the ink anymore. So if you was trying to get a shot of his fingers with black on it, it didn't happen. <laughs> it was cyber. Okay. It was cyber. Okay. Um, and then they of course they didn't they didn't take a picture of him because we know what he looks like. Okay. They didn't put a bond on him where he can't leave. And this is the first time. This is the first time right? this has ever happened. So this is the first time. This is processes that they're probably still kind of going. What we do know is um, there were allegedly, he had the codes to the nuclear war, the, our nuclear uh, missiles in those boxes. That's class of, that's why they was after him. That was the biggest thing I think they said. Why he's he's in trouble? But you know what? Who's the the house the guy the house person that took Nancy Pelosi's place? McCarthy. That he made a dumb comment about the fact that the 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 folders files are in a bathroom. They were not in a garage like the other people. And let's talk about that. First of all, oh, garage versus washroom. Why are they in your nasty washroom? But no, no garage she said the door opens up and out up back and forth the bat washroom you can at least close the door and lock it 
Are you serious? Yes, he did. With your boo-boo hands. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> you thinking of the nasty part of it, but Joy and them made a comment about, really? So there, he- and Wherever you got him in the house, let's say a padlock is on it. So he was sitting on the toilet. You condoning. Wait a minute. He was sitting on the toilet. We don't know that. It was in the washroom. But they're just piled in a washroom. I'm just guessing. You I'm think he was sitting on the toilet while you- Can I while finish you... my joke? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know what you was trying to be He funny. was sitting on the toilet. Reviewing the files. Reading files. So now they, they got, I'm sure his hands weren't clean. Who are the clerks that got to put that back? Now that they know they were in the washroom. I saw Seinfeld. They probably Seinfeld. They don't have gloves. Remember Seinfeld? You, didn't watch, uh, you don't watch it like that I episode, do. Uh, George was in a bookstore. Mm -hmm. He took one of the books off the shelf mm -hmm. and went to the washroom. You don't do that. He came out of the washroom and put it on the shelf. And the guy, came, the, uh, the one of the people that worked at the store said, you can't do that. You can't do that. And then George said what? He said, that book is flagged. Yes, you took and then, it to a washroom. <laughs> and then George was like, okay, well, all right. He said, no, you have to buy that you book now. You have to now. buy it. He said, I don't want to buy that book. He said, you have to buy it. You took that book in the and, bathroom. In the washroom. And, oh, my God, why would he not think that he shouldn't buy it? So, in my opinion, Especially they probably want to arrest him just for putting it in the washroom. Somebody got to put all that oh, back. Oh, but no, no. McCarty said... They're not in a garage. Well, nothing's going to happen to Trump, y'all. Trump is still going to run. Mm -hmm. This case means nothing. The judge, allegedly, the judge, I was reading this thing. Oh, yeah, they're concerned says, about him. Well, the, hey, Eileen, it's a woman. Oh, it's Senior a woman. Democrats on the Senate Judiciary Committee are raising concerns about what role Trump appointed federal judge Eileen Cannon will have in handling the case. She's handling the case. Cannon, first of all, was the one who didn't even want it to take place. Mm -hmm. She ruled uh, back in the day, of, I don't know if y'all remember, um, about she ruled in his favor a while ago, and they w sent it to a higher court, right. and they overturned they her. They overturned her. So that tells they you right now. They don't want to do this anymore, She's though. a Trumpster. Yes. She was appointed by him. Yeah. Cannon, a member of the conservative Federalist Society who was confirmed to sit on the district court for Southern District of Florida shortly after the 2020 election, made headlines last year when she ruled that an independent arbiter must review 13,000 um, government records seized from Trump Mar-a-Lago in August. And then that's when she was overturned. Her decision was later struck down by a three-judge panel made up from members of the 11th Circuit Court Appeals. Uh -huh. Trump was indicted last week on um on 37 federal counts and they said that she's going to be the judge now. Should she uh what's that? Excuse herself or whatever it's Recuse called. Excuse herself, yeah, whatever. She it is. should. Especially after that first incident. Somebody says I am concerned she was a Trump appointee. She was she was overruled by an appe appeal appellate court mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. She's back in charge. I know. Of That's the case. Not good. This is a historic case. This is what Dick Durbin says here from Illinois. In other words, why is she over it? Thank you. Who makes that decision? They said it was um, a draw or whatever. It wasn't. She, she wasn't, won the draw. She Whatever. It was random. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, random. Right. Randomly fell in her lap. Um, he said, I still hope that she really does a very, her very best to neutral and good be a good judge. So they hope it, that's all but you if can she do. don't think they're not going to watch her like a that's uh, all they. A that's all they can do is hope. That she does what she needs to do. In a way, do. that might work against him. Because she knows everybody's watching her. She might go out of her way to be tougher. We don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Which or is way. she another fearful person that his people may threaten her? 75 million that are NRA gun toters. Mm -hmm. And we ain't afraid to use them. And if before you get him, you got to go through us. And how do you know, and y'all know if y'all know legally, that she can say for him just to show her support and it can be overturned by a people like, uh, right. like last oh, time. Right, right, right. Just That's a plan. So she can get out of there and be like, I'm done. I did support him. I did what I could do. Yeah, you're right. Go ahead. You're right. Um, but that's it, basically, that we'll see how this case goes out. Okay. He still has the Georgia case. He has so many cases, we didn't lost track. What did that uh, comedian say at the uh, correspondence dinner? He is a, like a soap opera. He got cases that got cases. <laughs> the case with the lady, he, the, the case with the lady who was suing him for sexual harassment. 
sued him again because right. he went on CNN and, and, and talked, and about, talked her. about her again. Let's just say for sake of argument, he becomes president. Which he probably will. He'll be... We'll, his four years will be spent doing these stupid court cases and stuff. Well, they'll probably put him, he'll probably do house arrest. He'll probably be in Mar-a-Lago, which he'll love. He don't want to be in the White House anyway. They got mice and stuff. Mm-hmm. And But oh, he can't be in Mar-a-Lago because his wife is there. Um, no, he has to be in the White House. Um, they don't be together. <laughs> she don't want him there. Donald! <laughs> Donald, does this mean you have to stay home with me, Donald? I didn't do anything, Donald. Why is the judge no. hurting me, Donald? Well, she be first lady. So no, no. But she's house. saying, I didn't bring any false hope, Donald. Why are they convicting me? She said, how are you being convicted? They telling me I have to stay home. And that's hurting me, Donald. Why do I have to stay home I with you? Here. I didn't do anything. A baron didn't do anything. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You already want me here. Your your ex-wife is buried in the backyard, <laughs> Donald. This is too much, well, Donald. Well, she was holding his hand when, this they, is went, too when much. they went to the... She was there with him. I'll give, I'll give you $200 million. Oh, well, Mar-a-Lago is big, Donald. Uh, you stay on one side. I'll stay on the so other side. you saying house arrest. He have an ankle bracelet on. <laughs> right. <laughs> he gonna be in the White House with the ankle he bracelet. He should have an ankle bracelet to say mega. <laughs> Make America great. You see how stupid that sounds? Yeah. Make America great again with a president who is a convicted felon. <laughs> and felons can't vote. Right. But that's making America great. So when it comes time to vote, he won't be able to vote for himself. Right. <laughs> Remember we saw um, Obama and then went into the, the voting thing and they did their little vote. Remember, he, he, can't do that. he can't do that. He can't do that. And then he got the little guy that was once a server that's uh-huh. now his assistant. Uh-huh. He bumped him up because he the main one that was messing with the boxes. He's indicted too. Oh, now wow. you see this guy everywhere with him. That's his pal. Oh, yeah. His that's right his, arm. His right arm. Guess what, buddy? You're taking the fall. Because he's going to say, <laughs> I didn't tell him to bring those boxes in my yeah, bathroom. He just brought them in there. Yeah, that's not my fault. And they t- and he's going to blame the lawyers. They tell everybody, me I can look at something and blink my eyes three times and it'll be the Everybody will be thrown under the bus. You can move on.